Today is the day. Callum finally arrives to Buffalo this evening. I'm so excited to see him. He should be landing around quarter to 11. So I've been just like anxiously waiting all day trying to get all the last minute things that I need to do sorted. I have not seen him since my sign off day on Voyager, which was over two months ago. So really, really, really looking forward to seeing him. And he's going to be staying here for three weeks. So we have a lot of time together. I'm so excited. It's 2.30 right now. I need to try and bang out a little bit more editing. And I do want to do my nails because this is just not cute. I've been needing to do them, but it kind of wasn't at the top of my priority. So I do want to have cute little nails for when he arrives. I'm do that. And I do need to make some lunch because I haven't eaten any lunch yet. I have been obsessing over the Jennifer Aniston salad. I saw it on TikTok first. Apparently it's a salad that she used to eat every single day on set of friends. And it is delicious. So I've made my own modifications to it just because why not? But I think that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. I've just gathered all the ingredients and I'm now realizing I don't have any chickpeas. So that's okay. I'm just gonna make the salad without those. It's pretty much like a Mediterranean salad. So my version of her salad, I use cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, feta cheese, some black olives, spinach, bell peppers. I've got some pecans and couscous. And then for the dressing, it's just, well, we'll make it together, but I need lemon juice for that. I'm not kidding you when I say I've been making this salad for dinner pretty much every single night since I've been home. What's best about it is that it doesn't use a ton of ingredients and it's so quick to prepare. I always pop the couscous in the microwave to cook it because that takes the longest, if you will, and then I can let it sit while I'm preparing the rest of the salad. For the dressing, I'm just doing one tablespoon of olive oil, some lemon juice. So I kind of just eyeball it. The recipe calls for a clove of garlic, but I just have garlic salt, so I'm just gonna use that. Last but not least, some pepper. Mix that all on up and we're good to go. I'm so excited for Calum to come. So for the next three weeks, we're gonna be doing a lot of different activities. I've made like a list of ideas of things we might do. We've thought about maybe taking a trip to New York City or maybe Toronto, and then we wanna go snowboarding. Dressing. There we have it. I'll list the link to the video that I saw. Obviously you can add or get rid of anything you want. It does call for walnuts, but I use pecans and I know it also calls for onion, but I just omit, so. Here we go. I'm so excited, this looks amazing. I did just start inventing Anna a couple days ago. I know I'm really behind because everyone watched it like a year ago, but I'm really enjoying it. So I'm just gonna play this while I eat. I don't know why I thought his flight was coming in at 10.45. It's actually coming in at 10.20. So I gotta get a move on it, but it is time to pick him up. I think we're gonna stop maybe at Wegmans to pick him up some sushi or something to eat because he's probably gonna be starving. I don't think the flight has landed yet, so I've just parked and now we're walking in. I'm so excited that I'm like shaking. Well, it's only been in a week, but I'm back at the airport. <laughs> So apparently I was in the wrong spot. So I have to walk over here now. I'm like anxious walking. Oh, 
Welcome to Buffalo! So cold. <laughs> it's 32, this is a warm day. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee's to go. some breakfast it's 11 o'clock we haven't eaten breakfast yet but we got our steps in so that's what that's what's important I'm boiling in this it was actually not even cold outside look at my hair <laughs> that's rough TJ Maths, and then we're gonna take a trip to Aldi and get some groceries and some goodies for the house. We haven't decided if we're gonna go out to dinner yet, depending on how exhausted we are. Well, mostly how exhausted Callum is because he's the one with jet lag. So if we don't, then we're just gonna stay in. I he's, so do that. he's got the new gear. I just realized not too long ago from watching like other packing videos that I don't really have a ton of like these little containers to like pack things in, like packing cubes more or less. So I was looking for one, but I don't really like any of them here. Ooh, NASA. Back is a little funky, but these are a must have. <laughs> Those are ridiculous. This store is epic. How have you never been in it? Look at all the buffalo bills. I know. It's pretty new though. I think it's only like a year old and I haven't been home. Time for some groceries. adventures I've come home to a package so we're gonna open it together because it's always more fun that way oh a nice box oh it's the rose oh. we saw that wow. in New York City didn't we oh this is beautiful so what do you do just put it like on a table it's so yeah something? Rose Forever sent me some gorgeous roses for valentine's day in this beautiful velvet box thank you so much they're like an ivory or like a cream rose thank you very much these are beautiful such a nice centerpiece as well i just have to figure out where i want to put it but gorgeous beautiful, beautiful. we've just made some dinner we tried to make <laughs> some general styles like teriyaki salmon in the air fryer with some quinoa and some Asian veggies. Um, they were just steamed veggies, so it looks like it's gonna taste good. I don't know if it actually will taste good, but we'll, we'll find out. We had a little bit of a hiccup with the, um, <laughs> with the quinoa, <laughs> but it turned out. Time for jammies.
it's 12 o'clock. We are at the rink. I'm going to skate and coach a little bit. So probably like two hours. And tonight we're going to Barville and getting wings for Kellum because last night we were way too tired. We ended up just doing the salmon, which was delicious. But yeah, that's today's agenda. So let's go inside. Let's go skating. Skating went really well, but I definitely overdid it, I think, because my whole body is in pain. Lower body. And my back, so I guess, yeah, my whole body is a little bit in pain. I'm just still really, really, really tight from coming back from the contract. Anyways, long story short, I skated for like an hour and a half. I didn't end up taking Montana or Helena for lesson, and I think now... We are going to stop and grab a coffee on our way home. I have never been to this cafe that's kind of close to here. It's on our way back. We're gonna check it out. My tears are we stopped at Jam. And we both got tea. So I got ginger lemon tea and he got English breakfast. And I got this massive peanut butter cookie that looks amazing. And he got a breakfast sandwich. Oh, it's in there. The sausage is in the egg. I like your hair crunchy. Really nice. Yeah, it looks it looks really nice actually. Salty streams. behind me um i'm currently getting ready we are going out to dinner we don't have reservations or anything because i don't think that they even take reservations but i think it'll be fine it's a wednesday we are headed to barbell calm is going to have his first taste of real chicken wings because nobody does it better than buffalo you know i really needed to wash my hair but he kind of fell asleep when i got back from skating so we're just, I just did a body shower and I'm gonna wash it tomorrow morning. Sushi restaurant, the craziest thing happened, right? So, okay, we ordered three rolls to share. This treat, you know, like you wouldn't. So, like, I decided, you know. All right, here is the fit check. I'm just wearing a little pink sweater with my zebra pants. I'm obsessed with these pants. I've had these for years and they're just so cute. So, I just tucked the sweater into like a sports bra to give it a little crop look. And then for my hair, I literally just tucked it behind the ears and threw some hoops on, called it a day. Because like I said, it's dirty, it needs to get washed, and I feel like this is a cute way to wear it when it's a little bit dirty, so. That's the look, just waiting for Callum. I still haven't decided if I'm gonna eat some chicken wings or if I'm gonna order something else, because I don't eat meat, but like, chicken wings are amazing. Is it worth the after effects of eating chicken, you know? I feel like this is gonna be so controversial to people because I don't eat meat, but like, I never said I'm like full vegetarian. I just don't eat meat and I haven't for a long time, but like 
if I want to have it, I will have it. And I've kind of been thinking about integrating meat back into my diet just because on the ship it's it's been hard lately to get enough nutrients because there's been like a shortage of like beans and things like that so I'm just not eating enough protein for what I should be having. I don't know. Long story short, I might have chicken wings tonight and I'm not gonna feel guilty about it. <laughs> medium classic we've got some waffle fries what did you order uh, medium on Cajun honey barbecue it's really nice it's really spicy they like it's only a medium. I told you it might be spicy <laughs> It's 4.30, <laughs> we have not vlogged much today. We were kind of having a chill day to be honest. It was downpouring all morning and just now the sun is starting to come out so that's really nice but we just kind of hung out at home. We did get a workout in which was really nice. Did a little bit of yoga, um, some computer work. I sorted through a lot of emails which was good and we just had a bit of lunch. So our plan for today was that we were gonna go bowling, but bowling didn't even open until four o'clock. And I think it's like $15 per person per game. So instead we're gonna go tonight because they have a deal. It's like unlimited games for $16 a person. So instead we're gonna go later. For now we're just gonna chill a bit more. I think we might watch something on Netflix. This has been the mood for today. I haven't even talked to you since yesterday. We watched the last episode of Stranger Things season four. That was crazy. We thought we had finished it on the ship because we watched it a couple months back, but we only watched episodes one through seven. We didn't realize that there was two other episodes to it. So we finished it. It was so dark. I could not believe how dark it was. I was sobbing like the whole episode, but it was really good. But I don't know, just that show is stress. So I don't know what they're gonna do with the fifth season, but I wanna say that the fifth season is probably the last one because I don't know how much longer they can keep this going, you know? We just watched episode one of The Woman in the House Across the Street from The Girl in the Window, which is quite the title, but it's good so far. So we're gonna move on to the second episode. stir fry for dinner. Looks so good. We use the same Trader Joe's General Sows sauce. So good. Friendship bracelets behind. Leave the friendship bracelets behind. Game on. Game on. Time for bowling. We're at 24. Thank you.
together, and I seem to win every single one. Basketball, mini golf, now bowling. We've played five games. I won 3-2. That was a good game, though, for me. I didn't get another strike, but I was pretty close. Cool. And now the lanes are closing. It's 10 o'clock. We got a solid, solid play time. I'm actually sweating in my sweater. It is Friday. We are just about to head out the door and head to Emily and JR's apartment. We're going to have a little game night with them and Jimmy and Jamie. So really looking forward to that. But I just wanted to end the vlog here. I feel like I have so much footage from the last few days, but we have been having so much fun. So I'm glad that I was able to document it all. The days are just going by so fast. So we're going to try and squeeze in as much as we can in the next few weeks. We are about to book our Airbnb for Toronto, so we are planning to go to Toronto for a couple of days, which is going to be so much fun. Of course, I will bring you for the little mini vacay. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I love you to the moon and back, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.